Welcome, let's discuss inscribe angles in a circle. To illustrate inscribe angles, let's consider two chords that intersect at one point in the circumference of the circle. Let's call the left chord AV, and let's call the chord on the right BC. And again, notice that those two chords intersect at point B, which is located in the circumference of the circle. When we have the situation, notice there's an angle that gets created here. This is what we refer to as an inscribed angle. So by definition, we can say that an inscribed angle, it's an angle that is created by two chords where the vertex of this angle, it's in the circumference of the circle. and the vertex of this angle, it's a point B. In addition, notice that when we created this angle, we also created an arc. And there is a relationship between the inscribed angle and its opposite arc. And the relationship is that the angle will always be half the measurement of the opposite arc. So if we call this angle x, what we are saying is that the measurement of angle x is going to be equivalent to half the measurement of the arc AC. Let's look at some scenarios with inscribed angles. What occurs when two inscribed angles meet the same arc? Let's define an arc, let's call it AB. And now let's define an inscribed angle that intersects at point A and B. And now let's call this angle X. Based on what we have said, we know that angle X, it is equal to half of the opposite arc, which in this case is AB. Now let's draw another inscribed angle that also intersects at arc AB. And now let's call this angle Y. And remember the property of inscribed angles, where the inscribed angle is half its opposite arc, we can say that angle Y is equivalent to one half of arc AB. Notice that angle X and angle Y are both equal to one half of arc AB. So we can say that those two angles are congruent to each other. So we have concluded that if two inscribed angles intersect the same arc, those two inscribed angles will be congruent to each other. Let's look at another scenario. Now let's think about what would happen when an inscribed angle intersects the diameter of a circle. Let's start by drawing the diameter of the circle. Let's call those intersections A and B. And now let's consider an inscribed angle that also intersects at A and B. Let's write down what we know. We know that if we go in a full circle, that's 360 degrees. Well, then notice that this inscribed angle, which let's call it X, intersects an arc that is half of that circle. And remembering that an inscribed angle is half the opposite arc, then we can conclude that angle X has a measurement of 90 degrees. So we can say that we have a right angle here. In conclusion, we can say that when an inscribed angle meets the diameter of the circle, the inscribed angle will be a right angle. Let's take a look at another scenario. 
what will happen if we inscribe a quadrilateral inside a circle? Let's draw a quadrilateral inside the figure. Let's call those intersections A, B, C, D. When we consider two sides of the quadrilateral, notice that this defines an inscribed angle. And if that's the case, then we can say that the length of angle A is equal to half the length of the opposite arc. When we consider the other two sides of the quadrilateral, they also form another inscribed angle. Let's call it angle C. Then we know that angle C will be half of its opposite arc, arc DAB. Now, what would happen if we would have added those two angles? Then we would have the addition of half the arc of DCB and half the arc of DAB. And with these two expressions, we can factor out a one half And notice that when you add these two arcs, that's the whole circle. So we know that that's equivalent to 360. And half of 360 is 180. Let's clean this up a little bit. What we have shown is that when we fit a quadrilateral inside a circle, if we consider opposite angles in that quadrilateral, those angles are going to be supplementary to each other. The addition is equivalent to 180 degrees. And the same can be said about angle B and angle D. If we were to add those two angles, they are also equivalent to 180 degrees. In conclusion, when we draw a quadrilateral inside a circle, opposite angles will always be supplementary to each other. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.